Nazi Germany first launched the V-2 in 1942. At 46 feet, it was as tall as a four-story building, and by the end of World War II, it would be carrying bombs across the English Channel to London. But many lessons had to be learned before it could rain down its deadly payload onto unsuspecting English citizens. During its genesis, the V-2 suffered seemingly every imaginable type of malfunction. were every reason under the sun. Uh, one typical problem was the, the engine would start and then it would cut off, very often just above the launch pad. Guidance problems were typical. Guidance problems included everything. Jet vanes that didn't work, electronic failures, you name it. I think it just shows you how fragile and new this technology was. The V-2 was blowing itself all over the landscape because it was new. I mean, every nut and bolt in that thing was not only invented from scratch, but under an you know, intense pressure from the Nazi government to get this thing built and flying right now. Despite its early problems, the V-2 ultimately would serve as a revolutionary prototype for the modern rocket designs that followed. The Nazi engineers who designed the V-2, including their leader, Werner von Braun, would eventually emigrate to the United States after the war. What they learned from the V-2 failures would play a crucial role in rocket engineering's most dramatic achievement just 20